All right, how we doing tonight? Oh, that was good. I thought I was going to have to talk to y'all. That was good. Let's do that again. How y'all doing tonight? Welcome to the eighth annual NFL Honors. This is a prestigious award. We give out prestigious awards to young, gifted, viral, well-built, chisel, still got your stomach, shoulders, abs, lats. We give you awards, because we already know you ain't been given enough stuff in your life. So here comes some more. <laughs> now listen to me, there's a lot of stars in here tonight. I was out on the red carpet, I was walking around. I, I've just seen some people here, man. Y'all boys, I'm a fan of football. Jim Brown is here. Do you hear me? Do, do you know who that is? That's damn Jim Brown. That's a bad man. I seen some people, I saw Brett Favre backstage, Ray Lewis, Ray in the house. That damn prime time, boy. Now, I ain't gonna, now listen to me. Tonight, I want you to understand something. I'm excited about being here, man. I've been wanting to do this show for a long time. What took y'all so long <laughs> to ask me to host this show? Y'all done skipped all around me. Sat up here, you had Seth Myers hosting the show. Seth. <laughs> you had Conan O'Brien hosting the show. You done picked everybody but your boy. I've been a fan of y'all. Look at me. Don't sit here and act like you don't know me. You grew up watching me. I'm a damn football fan. Your mama loved me. Your grandmama loved me. Everybody in your family watch Family Feud. You gonna take your damn time picking me. You had Alex Baldwin do the show three times. Pick all these people, they don't even look like they are athletes. Look at me. I looked, I looked like I could have played. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seth Myers, if you throw Seth a football, he don't look like he can catch a football. <laughs> but you've been dancing around, you boy. Well, I'm glad you called me, because I'm here. And we're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to have a good time. Listen to me. I need your attention, because we're going to have to do this a little bit different. I want energy from you. The reason I'm going to ask for energy is because y'all normally the people down here, and the people upstairs know how to do it. But y'all athletes, see that right there? Did you see that? See, didn't there one of y'all clap down here? Soon as I said that, everybody up there clapped, because they know how to clap for people. You don't know how to clap for people because you've been getting clapped for your whole damn life. They've been clapping for your peewee football, clapping for your junior high, clapping for you in high school. Look at my baby run. Ooh, my baby run so fast. I want y'all to clap. Clap for each other tonight. You're here to celebrate each other, man. There's some great ballers in this room tonight. We want to celebrate each other. So when I bring you up, Give them some love, clap. I want that same excitement you gonna have tonight and tomorrow at strip club. Same excitement. <laughs> some of y'all ain't laughing cause of who you sit next to. <laughs> so we gonna practice. This is the hand clap I want you to practice. This is a very familiar thing. <laughs> you may not go anymore, but you've been there. It starts like this, and then you speed it up, and then you turn and you face it. So that's all I want you to do. When it's time for you to clap, we're going to call that the make it rain hand clap. I want you to get into it tonight. Give each other some, that. What's up, boy? I'm just looking around here. <laughs> you 
Joe Namath. Joe, Willie, Namath. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Boy, do you know what you mean to me? You reinforce the idea that I wanted to be a pimp. <laughs> you want a Super Bowl in a fur coat. <laughs> I'm too good at this. I can't believe y'all just had me come here. I'm so excited here, man. We gonna, we gonna have a good time tonight. I don't wanna make fun of nobody. I just want you to laugh, enjoy yourself. I'm a smart guy. I don't make fun of 300 pound people that can run a 40 and under four five. I don't make fun of people who can whip my ass. I really don't. I've been around a long time. Uh, I don't want you to act cool tonight. Take that off the table. Chill, but don't act cool. We've seen all of you in spandex and your hair tied up. <laughs> Hard to look cool with your hair tied up. If you tie your hair up to play football, you don't look cool. I just wanted to say that. Once again, not a lot of laughs on that because of who you sitting next to. <laughs> now I've done something, fellas, that most of you have never done. All of you current players have not done what I've done. Some of you former players are not old enough to have done what I've done. I have seen all 52 Super Bowls. I've seen every last one of them. I'm 62 years old. I know you can't tell, I know. I know you looking here going, boy, the swag on you dripping so cold. I've seen all the Super Bowls. I watched everybody. All of us are in here tonight because of one person, Tom Brady. <laughs> if Tom Brady wasn't living, y'all could be in the Super Bowl. I see us getting in the Super Bowl. And I don't know why you ain't thought of it. All this money in this room, y'all ain't thought of pooling y'all money together, having him killed. <laughs> that tighten y'all up a little bit? You ain't thought about it? Hell, I have. I'm tired of Tom Brady in the Super Bowl every damn year. If he wasn't here, we could be in the Super Bowl. Other Super Bowl stars are here. Last time I saw a championship game, I'm from Cleveland. Jim Brown was in the championship game, 1964. I saw that game with my daddy sitting on the floor, watching it. That's the last time we had a championship in Cleveland. We ain't seen nothing since. And this is black history. So let's have a little black history moment. Shout out to all the quarterbacks that started in the NFL. Five quarterbacks that were African-American descent started in the playoffs. I just found out it was five. I thought it was four till Patrick Mahone took his helmet off. <laughs> Let me give you a little history. 1993, African-American quarterback named Charlie Ward received the highest award in college football. The best college football player he played quarterback for Florida State. He won the Heisman Trophy. Where did he go after that? The New York Knicks. Because they didn't draft black quarterbacks back then. 
but now they do. And that right there is black history. It ain't funny, but it's black history. <laughs> One thing I want to talk to y'all about are celebrations. I like celebrations. I like touchdown celebrations. What I don't like is unworthy celebrations. The NBA got them. Yeah, you've seen it. If you dunk and ain't nobody on you, but you dunk and you land, ah, ah, you're 6'9", you got an eight foot wingspan. So what you dunk? Your ass only had to jump six inches. That don't call for that. Here's the thing I want y'all to do. I'm okay with the touchdown celebrations. What I'm not okay with is the first down celebrations. <laughs> it's, it's the smallest accomplishment in football. It's just 10 yards. <laughs> That's here to the microphone. Now, you make a first down, now you spinning the football. Now, we gotta wait till the damn ball stops spinning. <laughs> you all in here. It's 10 yards. Get your punk ass down there to the end zone. <laughs> Last thing. I am a diehard Cleveland Browns fan. I was raised in Cleveland, Ohio. It's been hard. Lord Jesus knows. It's been hard. Two years in a row, one win. But this year, something happened. We got this wide receiver named Jarvis Landry. This boy came up right in front of Jim Brown. Jarvis Landry came and changed an attitude. Nick Chubb started running that thing for us. The Cleveland Browns is in y'all's back right now. We are on our way. But the big reason is that damn Baker Mayfield. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my man right there. I love everything about Baker Mayfield. I like the fact that he's, he danced, he got attitude, got swagger, and he got two black names. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. That's Nita Baker's nephew and Curtis Mayfield's pale cousin. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. I have a problem right now because I'm thirsty. My mouth's so dry right now. I'm gonna end this. But I'm trying to locate spit right now. You know how you... <laughs> My wife, you see me, don't you? Oh, you got anything for me? I need lip gloss, what I need? Huh, give me something. I should have asked for this earlier. I even cut the Baker Mayfield joke short because I was dry. <laughs> See, when you got large lips, you have to provide constant moisture on them. You can laugh at that, that ain't racial. These is my lips. I've had these lips my entire life. This ain't nothing new. They were the same size when I was eight. So I'm not really tripping. We are here to have a good time tonight. I just want y'all to know that. So I want y'all to relax, come on, and listen to me. On the real, I'm a huge fan of football. I really am. I appreciate the game y'all play. It's the best game in the world. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all ready to have a good time? Say yeah. <laughs>